Okay, today we're gonna to be making a color wheel using primary colors to make secondary colors, but also what are called tertiary colors. Now, we know that the primary colors are red, yellow, and blue. And the reason why they're called primary colors and they're different from the other colors is because no two colors can mix to make the primary colors. So no two colors can mix to make red, no two colors can mix to make yellow, and no two colors can mix together to make blue. However, the primary colors can mix together to create what's called secondary colors. And just an example, so we know that red mixed with yellow makes orange. So orange is a secondary color. Yellow and blue mixed together make green, another secondary color. And red and blue mixed together to make purple. However, if we compare, let's say, these two oranges, are they the same? No, they're not, but they're still both orange. However, one is more reddish, so this would be red-orange, compared to the other one, which is still technically orange, but it's still a little bit more yellow than it is red. We call these types of colors tertiary colors. Essentially, they are the colors that are closer to one primary color than the other when they're mixed together. So we are going to be creating a color wheel that not only shows the primary colors mixing together to get secondary colors, but will also show the difference of the tertiary colors as well, okay? So in order to do this project, what you are going to need is a piece of paper. You're going to need some sort of small salad bowl or cereal bowl, a pencil. If you have a ruler, you can use a ruler. If you don't have a ruler, it's okay. You can freehand your lines. And you can also use crayons, or if you don't have crayons and would rather, you could also use watercolors to create this color wheel as well. Okay, so the first step that we're going to do is we are going to get out that piece of paper. We're gonna lay it down in landscape orientation. Landscape orientation meaning it's wide and fat. And once you have your piece of paper laid down in landscape orientation, let's take that cereal bowl or salad bowl, that small bowl, and let's just find kind of the center of our page. Lay down your bowl on uh, the center of the page, hold it down with one hand, then take that pencil. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna trace a circle. We're just gonna trace the outside of that small cereal bowl onto our paper. Okay, so hold down the bowl as you trace around. Once you have traced fully around, you can take the small bowl off and you should have a big circle in the middle of your page, okay? That's gonna be the uh, circle of our color wheel. Now to create all the different sections, we need to add some lines. So in, for our guide to make the lines, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the top of our piece of paper, we're gonna get a pincher at top and a pincher at the bottom. And then we are going to fold our paper in half from top to bottom, and it should make that hot dog fold, that skinny, long hot dog fold. Once you have it folded in half, you can unfold it. And notice how it's created a horizontal line um, going right down the middle of our circle. So what you can do is you can take out that ruler and what we are gonna do is we're gonna draw that horizontal line along the fold from one side of our circle to the other side of the circle. If you don't have a ruler, you can just freehand it. But I'm gonna uh, use a ruler to make sure that my line is nice and straight from one side of my circle to the other side and stop. Okay, 
So now that we have a line cutting our circle in half, we're going to add those uh, other lines to make the top half have three sections and the bottom half to have three sections. So in order to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to draw an X um, cutting through our, uh, our middle line. Okay. So what you can do is in order to kind of eyeball and make sure that your pieces are kind of even, you can take your pinchers from side to side, fold the paper in half from side to side, crease, then unfold. Okay. This is going to show a plus sign. However, we're not going to draw our, our uh, perfectly uh, vertical line. We're going to draw two diagonal lines. So you can kind of look to see, all right, so maybe a little more than halfway here, I'm gonna make my one diagonal line and another one here so that I have three equal pieces. And same with this one, I might somewhere like a little off the center here and here. Okay, so now I'm gonna just draw the letter X, two diagonal lines crisscrossing in the middle. So you can line up your ruler or you can freehand it. If you don't have a ruler, one diagonal line, two diagonal lines. So I drew that letter X. Notice it didn't really line up in the middle, that's okay. All right, so what we're going to do is we are first going to draw our, and color in our primary colors of our color wheel. So what we are going to do is first let's get out that red crayon or if you have a watercolor you can do that too. But I'm going to color in this top triangle with my red crayon, pressing really hard. Okay, so within that top triangle, use your crayon or watercolor up to you to fully fill that uh, top triangle with red. And make sure that you're pressing down very hard as you are coloring in to get a nice saturated red. Not a light red, but a saturated red. So it's really red. Okay, now that we have our uh, red triangle filled in. On the side of the red triangle, what we're going to do is we are going to color in half of the triangle on this side and half of the triangle on this side with red. But as we are getting towards the middle of the triangle, we are going to ease our pressure so that by the time we get to the middle of the next triangle, we're barely pressing down with our crayon. So I'll show you how. Uh, just starting along this little boundary, I'm gonna extend my red over and I'm pressing still pretty hard along that side. However, as I go on, I'm gonna press lighter. So as I'm going on, I might press a little lighter. And even beyond that, a little lighter. So once I get into the middle, I'm barely pressing any at all, like that. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side of the red into this triangle, going about halfway. So again, along that boundary, I'm pressing really hard. And then from that, I'm pressing medium. So I'm easing my pressure, making it a little bit lighter. And then even that last one, lightening it up even more so that I'm barely pressing by the time I get halfway. Okay, awesome. So I have my red here Let's do my next primary color, which is yellow. So just on this triangle, that's kind of diagonally across from the red, I'm gonna fully fill in 
this triangle with my yellow. So we're gonna to switch to that yellow crayon. I'm gonna fully fill in, oops, fully fill in this triangle with yellow. And I'm within this triangle, I'm really pressing hard. Fully filling in the full triangle with yellow. Okay, so now I'm gonna do the same thing with my yellow that I did with my red. I'm gonna extend that yellow into this triangle right above it and this triangle right next to it on this side. And I'm gonna do it the same way, starting off pressing really hard along the sides and then once I get to that middle part, I'm gonna ease up my pressure, but I'm going to overlap onto what I have put on the red within that triangle. So I'm gonna go all the way to the other side of the triangle, fully filling it in. Wow, already we can notice when I mix the yellow with red, if we squint, it turns that orange. However, this in this section is much more red orange. And as it goes over here, it gets much yellow, yellowy orange. So there we're already seeing the different tertiary colors of red orange and yellow orange. Let's do uh, the same thing on the other side of the yellow. So starting from this side, pressing really hard, filling that in. But then as we go along, doing it a little bit lighter and a little bit lighter. There we go. Since yellow is a very weak color, I'm gonna fill in the whole triangle but just having it a little bit much lighter on this side and much darker on the right hand side. Okay, awesome. So we have our red mixed with yellow to make orange and that red, orange and yellow, orange. Our next and final primary color that we're gonna add is blue. And we know that blue and red make purple, but our goal is to make two different types of purple. One more red violet as it's closer to the red and one more blue violet as it's closer to the blue. We're also going to make uh, a different type of green because we know that also when the yellow mixes with the blue, it's going to make green. However, it's gonna make two different types of green. A yellow green closer to the yellow and then a blue green closer to the blue. So let's find our blue crayon. And in this last little full triangle, we're gonna fill that entire triangle with just pure blue. Okay. Now that I have that triangle with pure blue, pressing down really hard, we're gonna do our tactic of uh, filling it in, starting to extend into this triangle first, pressing really hard, and then about halfway, pressing lighter and lighter and lighter. So we can extend this blue into our yellow, pressing at first really hard with our blue, and then a little bit lighter, and then really lighter. And barely. Wow. Look how on this side, it's that yellow green and as it goes down, it turns into that blue green. Awesome. All right, the last thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna extend our blue out into our red over here. So let's get out our 
blue crayon and let's extend out our blue. Into our red, fully filling in the rest of that triangle. Nice, and then that blue can even go lighter into the red. Beautiful. All right, so now we have fully finished our color wheel showing the tertiary colors of red orange versus yellow orange, yellow green versus blue green, and blue or blue violet versus red violet. Okay. If you have this fully finished with crayon and you wanted to try it with watercolor, you can do the same tactic except when if you're using watercolor, you can overlap your colors. And I can quickly show you how to do that. Okay, now that I have the boundaries of my color wheel made, I can now experiment with watercolor. And it's the same sort of method, however, this time we are using watercolor and we're going to be overlapping our watercolor colors. So remember, the first color we want to find is that red. So you can dip your brush into the red watercolor, find that top triangle, fully color in, and watercolor paint that top triangle red. But then we can extend that red a little bit into halfway into this triangle and also halfway into the other one, just pulling the color into those next two triangles. Then we can dip our paintbrush into the water, clean it off like that. We can find our next primary color, yellow. Dip your paintbrush into the yellow, swirl it around to get that yellow on your brush. Then let's find that full a uh, triangle that's diagonally across from our red. Let's fully paint that one yellow. However, this time we get to extend into our top one and overlap the colors. And this time you can swirl, 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 pulling some of that red into your yellow. Fill it all the way. Notice how it made a yellow orange and a red orange. We can dip our paintbrush back into our water, clean it off. We can dip it back into the yellow. And then fill this bottom triangle halfway with our yellow. Amazing. Then wipe off your brush. Find that blue watercolor. Dip your paintbrush into the blue, swirl it around. We're gonna fill in first that full triangle with our blue. Nice. But now what we can do is we can extend that blue out into that next that bottom triangle, mixing it with the yellow. And you can pull that yellow into the area with the blue. And notice it just slightly mixes. Here we go. So we have a yellow green mixing into pure green, mixing into blue green. Let's wash out our brush again. And then the last section we're gonna do, we're gonna extend that blue out into the red. So find that blue watercolor, swirl, swirl, swirl. Extend it out. And have it overlap that red. Okay. I wanna make my blue a little bit 
uh, lighter when it mixes with this red. So in order to make it lighter, remember what you can do is you can wash off your brush just a little bit to add a little bit more water to lighten that blue. And then you can extend that blue a little bit further. Beautiful. Awesome. So now we have uh, both our crayon color wheel and our watercolor wheel. Well, I hope you had fun doing it. Can't wait to see yours.